Hi, I'm Judy Cameron. I'm a stress relief coach, and today I'd like to share with you a couple of quick ways to help you release the emotion of sadness so it doesn't keep recycling through your mind-body system. I teach Qigong, so here's a quick review and we'll get right to it. In Qigong, which is ancient China's mind-body healing system, and in physics and quantum physics, they believe that everything is made of energy. That includes our bodies. We have energy, we have qi, the life force. You can think of it as electricity running through different lines in our body. And when we're healthy, this flow runs smoothly. When we have certain events happen, it can short out a certain line and we don't function as well. And some of the things that block this flow are poor food, food choices, poor nutrition, sometimes a change in the weather, uh, certain drugs, but most importantly, it's our emotions. It's our distressful emotions from memories, from events in the past that uh, cause us to have patterns that we don't necessarily want. Or, of course, uh, sadness, crying, you know, it, we know what brings that on. So, also in ancient Chinese medicine, this may sound a little wacky, I worked in Western medicine for many years, so bear with me, I, I know what you might be thinking, but different organs have uh, a relationship with a particular emotion, and the lungs are connected to sadness, to crying, to grief, and there are two points underneath the inside edge of the collarbones right here and if we massage them or gently tap and I'm not going to because I've got this mic and you'll hear it just gently tap there while we're feeling the sadness while we're crying it can help to release release it so we can move on so just take a deep breath Ideally, in through your nose rather than through your mouth, if you can. I know if you've been crying, your nose might be stuffed up, but um, it's ideal to breathe in through the nose because fear makes us breathe in through our mouth. So we're trying to uh, release the fear and the distress. Breathing in through your nose is a way to do that. So while you're feeling your loss or whatever has made you feel sad, just be tapping underneath the inside edge of the collarbones. I'll give you a moment. You can either say what's hurt you. Jack really hurt me. He um, said those things. I don't know if he knew how painful they were. Or Jill was just a jerk. I can't believe she's been my best friend forever. And that just hurt what she said. It made me feel so sad. She did this, she did that, whatever it is, you fill in the blank. And it might take five, it might take ten, it might take half an hour. But you will feel better. Now if we're talking about grief, that's a deeper cut on sadness. And perhaps you've lost a loved one, a family member or um, a spouse or a pet. And I have two other options for you. I have a free video on this channel called How to Do Meridian Tapping. It's a much more complete protocol. You'll be able to fill in the blanks on your unique story. So make sure you check that out. Also, because I've been there with this um, grief from different family members and friends and pets, um, I have an audio on my site on the products page called Loss of a Loved One. And we not only do meridian tapping, but some other tools that uh, really help let it go and transmute it into more of an honoring of your lost um, family member or friend. So those are some options for you. And lastly, please check out if it feels right. On my website, I have um, time-proven stress relief techniques that I would be
be happy to send you for free. The best ones, some of them can help you uh, get back to sleep when you're tossing and turning at night. And they just pull from all these ancient cultures, just the best ideas, this common theme of support and love available to us. So I invite you to check that out. Please leave me your comments below. Uh, I'd love to know if you would like to have a pet grief video done for you because I just lost my two dogs and I had to use all the tools I had to get through it because they were like my kids. So anyway, wishing you a really good day. Thanks for joining me and we'll talk soon. Bye-bye. Thank you.